Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the Fibonacci number problem. The Fibonacci numbers, commonly denoted f of n, form a sequence called the Fibonacci sequence such that each number is the sum of the two preceding ones, starting from 0 and 1. That is, f of 0 equals 0, f of 1 equals 1, and f of n equals f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 for n is greater than 1. So, as you can see, it says given n, calculate f of n. So, this problem says that we have to calculate the nth Fibonacci number. So, as you can see, if the input is 2, then the output is 1. If the input is 3, then the output is 2. Because of this. If you see, the 0th Fibonacci number is 0. So, they ask you for the number 2 that's the second Fibonacci number 0, 1, 2 is a 1 so the output is a 1 and the third is a 2 so the output is a 2 so as you can see the Fibonacci sequence starts with 0 and 1 and then every number after that is just the sum of the previous two numbers so this number is 0 plus 1 is 1 so we have a 1 here then 1 plus 1 is 2, so we have a 2 here. 1 plus 2 is 3, so we have a 3 here. 2 plus 3 is 5, so we have a 5 here. 3 plus 5 is 8, so we have 8 here. And 5 plus 8 is 13, so we have a 13 here. And so on. So this is the Fibonacci sequence. So how can we solve this problem? The brute force approach is to use recursion. So we just have to write this formula, which is a recursive formula, um, and as a method. And it's going to be a recursive method, and we handle the base cases and also the recursive case. This is the brute force approach, and the time complexity is very high. The time complexity is big of 2 to the n, which is exponential. So this is unacceptable. This is very bad. Can we do better? Yes. We can improve the time complexity if we use memoization. Memoization is a technique that allows us to improve the time complexity by avoiding duplicate computations. So we will have to use an array um, to store the computations that we have calculated. In that, that way, we don't have to calculate the same computation again when we are using recursion. So that's memoization. And the time complexity would be big O of n where n is the length, is, is this n here. But we also would have to use big O of n space. So that's the downside. And we can do a bottom-up implementation or a top-down implementation. Can we do better? Yes, we can do better. We actually don't have to use the array. We can actually use a few variables. And that's going to allow us to have constant space complexity and big O of n time complexity. So we just have to take into account the definition of Fibonacci number. We need a variable for the first Fibonacci number and the second Fibonacci number. So in this case, we can have A initialized to 0 and B initialized to 1. And then we iterate um, all the way to N. And every iteration, we calculate this Fibonacci number by adding the previous two, so A plus B. So we update. Um, a to be B and B to be the sum. And that's the main idea. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, if n is less than or equal to 1, I just return n. Because if n is 0, I return 0, as you can see here. If n is 0, I return 0. If n is 1, I return 1. So if n is less than or equal to 1, just return n. As I said, I'm going to have integer a gets a value of 0, b gets a value of 1. So initialize a to 0 and b to 1 for the first two. Then I'm going to go for integer i gets a value of 2, i is less than or equal to n plus plus i. So because I already have these two, I have a and b here. Then I start at the third position, so that's why I gets a value of 2 to start at the third position. And I have to go all the way to the end, to the nth Fibonacci number, so that's why I have to say less than or equal to n. 
So as I said, um, I need to calculate this number. So I'm going to say integer sum gets a value of a plus b. So as you can see, this is this is position two, position two here, and in order to calculate this number, I I have to find the sum of the previous two numbers. So the sum gets a value of a plus b, and then I need to update. I need to say that a gets a value of b, and b gets a value of sum. And by the end of the iteration. I return b. So b is going to be the nth Fibonacci number. So I'm going to run the code. It seems to be working fine. So I'm going to submit a solution. It's working perfectly. So as you can see, the time complexity is big of n and the space complexity is big of 1. If you like the video, please like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.